The sun had already begun its descent, casting long shadows over the narrow, cluttered streets of the ghetto bazaar. At the heart of this chaos, Alessandra, a 20-year-old with determination in her steps, maneuvered through the crowd. Her grandmother's frail voice echoed in her mind, a constant reminder of the urgency of her mission. The air was thick with the scent of spices and the murmurs of haggling vendors, a stark contrast to the sterile silence of her grandmother's sickroom. Despite the familiar grimace that the bazaar often drew from her, Alessandra couldn't help but find a certain beauty in its resilience. The vibrant tapestries hanging from the stalls, the intricate patterns of beaded jewelry, and the makeshift stands overflowing with a cornucopia of fruits and vegetables, all were testaments to the indomitable spirit of those who called this place home. With each step, Alessandra delved deeper into the heart of the bazaar. The makeshift stalls grew denser, the aisles narrower, and the air more pungent with an amalgam of smells. She passed by vendors peddling their wares with the vigor of those whose livelihoods depended on every sale. Here, the currency wasn't just coins or bills, but bartered promises and exchanged favors, a complex economy of survival. Alessandra Focus, however, remained unswayed. Her grandmother needed a rare medicine, one that wasn't easily found in the polished aisles of the city's pharmacies. No, it was nestled here, in the rough embrace of the ghetto, guarded by those who knew its value all too well. As she moved, Alessandra's senses were on high alert. The bazaar wasn't just a marketplace, it was a living, breathing entity, pulsing with energy and danger in equal measure. Her eyes flicked from one shadow to another, wary of the pickpockets and swindlers that preyed on the unwary. Yet, it was not the threat of theft that gnawed at her, it was the intangible feeling of being watched. The bazaar's cacophony drowned out any attempts to listen for footsteps over her shoulder, and the dense crowd offered both cover and peril. Alessandra's heart began to race, not from the physical exertion of weaving through the crowd, but from the creeping realization that her journey today might hold more danger than she had anticipated. As Alessandra pressed on, her earlier determination began to mix with a creeping sense of unease. It wasn't the usual wariness that the bazaar inspired in her, this was something more primal, a gut feeling that she was no longer just another face in the crowd. The sense of being watched had intensified, a shadow among shadows that seemed to match her pace, never too close, but always there. Trying to shake off the feeling, Alessandra quickened her steps, her eyes darting back to catch a glimpse of her follower. Amid the blur of faces, nothing seemed out of place, yet the sensation of eyes boring into her back was undeniable. She remembered her grandmother's warnings about the bazaar, stories of people disappearing into thin air, of debts collected in the most brutal ways. Alessandra had always dismissed these as attempts to deter her from venturing into the ghetto, but now, they flooded back with a chilling clarity. Her hand instinctively went to the pocket where she kept her money, reassured by its presence. It wasn't much, but it was all she had to buy the medicine. The thought of losing it, or worse, not making it back to her grandmother, propelled her forward. With each step, the bazaar seemed to close in around her. The once vibrant stalls now felt like a labyrinth designed to trap her. Alessandra's mind raced, searching for a way out. She remembered a narrow alley she'd passed earlier, barely more than a crack between two leaning buildings, but it might just be her escape route. Without giving herself time to hesitate, Alessandra veered off the main path, slipping into the alley. The noise of the bazaar dimmed as she navigated the tight space, her breaths echoing off the walls. For a moment, 
She allowed herself to hope that she had lost her pursuer in the sudden turn. But the illusion of safety was short-lived. The faint sound of footsteps echoed behind her, quicker now, as if her follower knew this was the moment to close in. Panic surged within Alessandra, but so did a surge of adrenaline. She wasn't just going to be another cautionary tale of the bazaar, she was going to fight for every step back to her grandmother. The alley twisted and turned, a maze of backdoors and dead ends, but MIA had spent enough time in the bazaar to know its secrets. She ducked under a low-hanging cloth, nearly tripping over a stray cat that hissed at her intrusion. Ahead, she spotted the back entrance of a familiar shop, one that dealt in herbs and potions. The owner, a grizzled old man with a knack for stories, had always been kind to her. Bursting through the door, Alessandra didn't stop to catch her breath. Hide me, she gasped, the words barely forming before she heard the footsteps reach the entrance. The shopkeeper, quick as ever despite his age, ushered her behind a heavy curtain and into a cramped storage room. The sound of her pursuer entering the shop followed, a tense exchange of words, then the footsteps retreated, leaving silence in their wake. Alessandra waited, her heart pounding, until the shopkeeper gave her the all clear. You've got the gambler's own luck, girl, he murmured, a twinkle in his eye betraying his stern tone. Now, what's so important that you'd bring trouble to my doorstep? Breathless, Alessandra explained her quest for her grandmother's medicine. The shopkeeper, nodding in understanding, promised to help her find it. It was a small kindness in the harsh reality of the bazaar, a reminder that even here, humanity persisted. Inside the dimly lit back room of the herb shop, surrounded by jars filled with mysterious substances and the heavy scent of earth, Alessandra recounted her grandmother's symptoms to the shopkeeper. With a thoughtful nod, he rummaged through a cluttered shelf, muttering to himself. Finally, he produced a small, unassuming vial filled with a liquid that shimmered under the flickering light. This is what you need, he declared, placing the vial into her hands with care. But it won't be cheap. Alessandra's heart sank at the thought. The money she had was limited, barely enough to cover the cost of standard medicine, let alone this rare concoction. Sensing her distress, the shopkeeper eyed her for a long moment before sighing deeply. For you, a special price. And a promise that you pay it forward when you can. Gratitude flooded Alessandra's heart, as she handed over her money, leaving her with just enough to make her way back home. Clutching the precious vial, Alessandra's emerged from the shop into the cool evening air. The bazaar, though still bustling, seemed less intimidating now, as if the very streets that had threatened to swallow her whole were now nodding in respect. She navigated her way back with renewed purpose, the weight of her grandmother's safety propelling her forward. As she walked, Alessandra couldn't help but reflect on the day's events. The bazaar, with all its dangers and wonders, had tested her in ways she couldn't have imagined. Yet, it had also shown her kindness in the most unexpected places. The lesson was clear, beneath the surface of hardship and fear lay a network of support, ready to uplift those in need. The journey back to her grandmother's side was long and fraught with the echoes of her earlier fear, but the darkness seemed less consuming with the vial securely in her possession. When she finally crossed the threshold of her grandmother's home, the relief was palpable. Her grandmother's eyes, clouded with pain, lit up at her return. You made it, she whispered, a strength returning to her voice that Alessandra hadn't heard in weeks. With careful hands, Alessandra administered the medicine, watching as her grandmother drifted into a peaceful sleep. 
It was only then, in the quiet of the night, that Alessandra allowed herself to truly breathe. She had ventured into the heart of fear and emerged not just unscathed but stronger, a testament to the resilience of the human spirit.